Welcome to a painting supply video. Um, I'm Janet Skates and I've done a supply video before so this is a new new and possibly updated one but I get more questions about supplies than probably anything uh, else in the in my artwork. So as I go over these I want to say that you don't need to have all of these supplies to to create. Um, anything. This is this is something I've built up over years and collected art supplies and tried out different things. So uh, certainly not necessary for you to start painting. And these are my canvas supplies and my paper painting supplies, um, not my art journaling supplies. That's a different, different uh, thing that I use there. So I want to start out first with hand and glove. There's different brands of this. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see, but there's different brands uh, of protective this. barrier cream. I suggest using it if you're painting uh, with acrylic paints. I do use just acrylic paints. That's what I paint with. Uh, I don't use oils at this time. I have before, but I paint most and also the, uh, the high flow uh, for different projects, but you can start with some basic colors and build your collection on those. Uh, they're not inexpensive, but they are high quality and uh, you can you can like I said start with some basic colors Not necessary though to paint if you've got craft or hobby paints those work great as well. So uh, Liquitex uh, makes a wonderful gouache. I use Liquitex gouache. I also have a lot of Liquitex acrylic paints So I use their heavy body and fluid paints as well um, and uh, the Acrola gouache is fantastic. It is a whole bind gouache, and I love this. It's it's probably my favorite in in the uh, gouache. Um, let's see. Here's another type of paint that I love. Um, the abstract paints, uh, Sennelier makes these. And I, I do love the packaging. This is fabulous packaging. I find it easier to open sometimes than the big, uh, don't buy the big golden jugs because I can't get them open. So I use the smaller ones. They're easier to, to open for me. Um, these are the Art Graph water soluble sticks. And I love these. Um, fantastic, fantastic to use. Um, Teresa Benavides uh, introduced me to these and they're just wonderful. Um, I have I, hundreds of brushes <laughs> and I don't buy any specific kind of brush. I, uh, I get my brushes on sale from Michaels or Blick and uh, or wherever I happen to be. And uh, I have a lot of different sizes. I think you, you will benefit by having a a variety of brushes large and small if you're painting big you need big brushes as well so uh, but I don't I, I really don't have a, a favorite I I use them all and I'm really hard on my brushes um, I clean them I scrub really hard on the on the canvas with my brushes in the paper um, I also have an assortment of little uh, spatulas, uh, different kinds of rubber ones, and then of course the metal uh, palette knives as well. Those are just handy mark making tools and mixing tools. Um, these are the Neo Color by uh, Karen Dash, and these are a wa water soluble crayon, and I use these on paper a lot, uh, and I also use them on canvas. They're fun, and uh, the colors are quite, quite fun to uh, enhance even the paint, uh, the acrylic paints. Um, I use a Stabilo All Pencil. I have little stubs of these everywhere, but I use the Stabilo All Pencil a lot in my work. And uh, you can buy these on Amazon, and it is Stabilo All, A-L-L, -L, pencil, and it is a water-soluble pencil. So sometimes I use it in mark making and I just leave it uh, like a pencil mark and other times I activate it with a brush uh, and water to, to make the mark more, more vivid, more intense. I use black, but they come in different colors. I've tried the brown and the white and I've ended up back with the black. So that's something that you might, might want to try. 
um, Posca pins. Oh, I love Posca pins, and I have loads of Posca pins, and I use them on um, I use them on paper pieces. I use them on canvas. I they're so fun. So highly recommend getting a little starter set of these. And people ask all the time, what is my favorite size? My favorite uh, point. This is my probably the one I use the most which this one I think is, is all gone, <laughs> but I use them a lot. Um, and it's that little uh, pointed tip. That I have the big ones and I use those as well, but my favorite is this size here. But you'll have your own favorite, so that's just, just a thought. Um, woody, woody pencils, woody three-in-one pencils. Oh, there's my big markers too. Um, these are fantastic. Now see, this is my little kit here. I've got Posca pens in here too, but I love Woody 3-in-1 pencils. They come in a basic set with different colors and they're just fabulous, um, brilliant to start a canvas, activate a canvas or a paper piece with. Uh, wonderful. Let's see. Um, I have the, I think they're by Molotov, but these are the acrylic water-based paint markers, and these are super fun to use as well. I say fun, like they are just toys, but really they are they are kind of our work toys. So um, I do get them because they're fun, but also because they're good quality and I enjoy using them when I'm painting. Uh, these are the Sennelier uh, oil sticks, and these are fantastic as well. Um, a whole assortment of gosh colors and I have the big sticks and the smaller ones they are just fabulous to to create with and layer lots of layering I use those toward the final layers as they are oil based um, and I recently got a set of, of these um, Derwent ink tents sticks now I have the the uh, ink tents pencils and I've used those for years but I got the sticks, and I'm loving using these on, on canvas as well. These are fantastic. Beautiful range of colors, and, and I am loving these. I've been using them on paper and canvas recently because I just got them, and I like the uh, maneuverability, I guess, for, for me rather than just the pencil, which is a little more limiting um, for what I'm doing with them. Uh, let's see, anything else that I haven't covered? Oh, spray paint. I do use spray paint uh, now and then. It's, it depends on the weather for me, whether I'm able to get out and spray paint. I don't have a studio space big enough to spray paint uh, in, in my studio, so I do do it outside, but I use some spray paint in my work as well. And um, uh, golden acrylic glazing. I, this is probably another thing that I use more than even I think I do. I love this medium. Uh, it really m creates a flexibility with your acrylic paint. If you're wanting to uh, layer color, to make color more vivid, um, to get an, a nice thin, a glossy layer on your, on your work, this is fantastic. Lots of different ways to use this. Um, my spray bottle, this is very important. <laughs> This is my spray bottle, and this is a Myers spray bottle and um, Myers cleaner spray bottle. I save them up as I empty them in the house because I do see this one has been he has been injured, uh, so he'll get replaced before long. But I I love my spray bottle. This one seems to work better than anything I've ever found, and so I do have a collection of those. Um, so that is just a rundown of supplies because like I said, I get loads of questions on supplies and I hope that this helps you in searching for supplies that are uh, useful to you in your, in your artwork and your creating. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I do try to answer them all and if I've missed one, please send it again. So have a great day and thank you for following.